trading it PoE sucks and here's why. If you're like me and playing PoE in the trade league on and off, there always comes a point where it simply stops being fun and it's not necessarily the game to be blamed, but instead in having trade and all the unintentional externalities it brings with lowering longevity over every league. You're not outplaying the game, you're outplaying other people. It looks like PvE, but it's actually partially PvP. Uh, if you snag extra good deal, you're basically exploiting other people. Trading basically reduces multiplayer interaction to purely a transactional uh, interaction. There is no socializing aspect. Since trading is so much superior to other ways to deterministically get a build going and game can be completed solo, this is the dominant motivator uh, to interact with other people and it gets reduced or min-maxed to spend as little time doing it as possible, which inadvertently leads to stuff like bots and uh, bulk trading. Design space is not enhanced but actually limited by trade. Because trading allows deterministic crafting, basically uh, for a given price you're getting exactly what you want. There's no RNG uh, involved. And it gives players FOMO if they're not using it. Like if you're playing in a trade league, it is expected that your main source of progression will be trading with other people not actually playing the game. It's not exactly restrict them from uh, trading, but it's funneling them to min-max. The free market present does not balance the prices on activities that less people find fun uh, if the demand for those items or crafting methods from it are not equally desirable, which they're not and they're highly dependent on when uh, during the leak it is. Some areas of the game are simply superior and thus the lesser ones uh, trigger FOMO once again. Even if a mechanic or crafting method is unique, the builds very rarely need to venture into it and there is easier and cheaper ways to achieve the same goal, which leaves uh, big parts of the game underutilized. Based on bad implementation, it 1. introduces toxicity like scamming or having to spam people and wait for their response. Wait for their response. Uh, if features like auction or offline trading are not available. Uh, price fixing on uh, valuable items until mirror tier by organized group, etc. Flipping, which means buying low and selling high and crafting for profit, which is not applicable without trade being present, are superior ways to progress because they scale infinitely, whereas playing the game does not. It also is FOMO and demotivates uh, from playing the game as player is turned into churn for the trade sharks or uh, crafting sharks. Playing the game uh, you are limited by what the game actually allows you to get per unit of time whereas trading and crafting uh, you can get arbitrarily high price in and thus uh, arbitrarily high profit out. The issue with crafting for profit is that in order to do that you for A need to have the knowledge how to do it and for B you need to have a lot of uh, input capital both the uh, base items and all the crafting materials and or uh, services that you trade with other people in order to make the most profit and the more of them you have the less RNG affected it is. So it's basically very uh, heavily weighted towards the richest players getting the most profits, I even though it should be the other way around. Bad or incomplete implementation causes extra negatives on top. If trade completion is not automatic, like uh, for example in EVE or Albion Online, people can put up uh, items for sale but not respond to whispers. Trying to manipulate prices and trick people to price the items mistakenly and snipe it to flip it later. Insisting on quote-unquote friction, as uh, Chris Wilson likes to call it, is a halfway approach that PoE took with having open trade but keeping the friction, which led to a place where third-party tools and bots give uh, so much competitive advantage that the base game player is simply left in the dust 
and has to spend way more time to get where they could if this did not exist. Uh, the drop severity is scaled to the no life first of players, not to casuals, because inflation would be so bad that significant portion of player base and mainly streamers would get bored and move to other games, which is less profits. Uh, over time this diminishes but basically splits player base between the elite that can enjoy the game fully at the start of the league and the plebs that have to wait till stuff becomes affordable and you can see that in the prices in for example on PoE trade I mean on PoE Ninja. Additional issue is that the implementation is based not only on if it does improve the game but by profit motives because it forces players to see other players and their uh, purchased MTXs uh, even if trading is facilitated, facilitated by third-party places like TFT in the end the trade needs to be performed in other players uh, presence whereas if you had auction house or offline trading this would not happen what to do about it if it's to stay in the game one there needs to be some sort of offline clearance Buyout price means instant buyout, no whispers. If visiting hideout and seeing MTX needs to stay, it can be implemented differently. Uh, for example, instead of direct send whisper from trade site, direct visit hideout and show the registered goods in host stash, potentially allowing buying more than just the one item. Basically browse all or uh, how trading is done in some MMOs where you're uh, opening your stall and uh, offering certain items for sale and players see you and interact with it but you don't need to be present for the trade itself. There could be auction house for everything immutable like all currencies with uh, buy and sell prices and automatic clearance for the overlaps basically uh, like you have in any uh, for example, like in Albion Online, where you basically put items for sale for a price and uh, whoever is buying them is putting also buy orders for how much they are willing to pay for it and if the, there is overlap between the lowest selling price and then highest buying price, then the clearance is done automatically and it's basically if you're selling it for higher than people are willing it to buy, it's sitting there and if you if you want to actually get the trading done you need to lower your selling price or increase your buying uh, buying price for example soul binding like we have in world of warcraft which means that uh, after the item is soul bound or uh, it can no longer be traded to other players or have the compromise like they have in there where it uh, the item is basically freely tradable uh, after uh, until a certain time after playing together with other people when the item dropped but that might be problematic in poe since most of the items that are actually traded are not based on drops but are crafted you can have specific usability of gear for specific content like for example haste uh, rogues gear sanctum relics blight uh, ring anoints breach rings which have specific mods while being in a breach Abyss mods on gear, but this uh, must not compete with regular gear mods or, uh, for character power because players will always opt out of using them if they are not doing that specific content. You can have uh, horizontal progression deepening, but this will have limited effect since the core game is simply more developed. Uh, if it's to be added, it cannot be at the top of the progression pyramid, it needs to be on a side but with separate progression path otherwise players will simply blast through it uh, example for this might be delve trial uh, of the ancestors sanctum and haste but they are too isolated from the core game so player has to wait opportunity cost uh, barring rewards and trading for them but then we're back at square one min maxing and fomo Interesting spin on this approach was uh, Scourge League, Sentinel League and Harvest League. Uh, basically the act of crangling items, the recombining uh, and Sentinels in general, 
or progressing building of the Harvest Garden mechanics that did not make it to core but were exactly this horizontal side progression while not hurting opportunity cost calculation that much.